For the relatives of those aboard the plane who gathered at Rio's airport, this was the worst sort of air disaster, one that is a complete mystery. Air France Flight 447, a four-year-old Airbus A330, left Rio at 6.30 yesterday evening Eastern Time with 228 passengers and crew on board bound for Paris. It had recently been serviced and was in the hands of a highly experienced cockpit team. The flight seemed perfectly normal as the plane cruised at 35,000 feet three and a half hours later over the island chain of Fernando de Naroja off the coast. Here, as expected, it left Brazilian radar range and was not due to show up on radar screens again until it got near Africa. The flight then encountered severe turbulence as it passed through a zone of thunder and lightning storms and the plane automatically sent out a series of messages indicating that various onboard systems were malfunctioning. This was the last that was heard of Air France 447. Search planes from Brazil, France, and Spain headed to the area. The French even asked the United States to try to use spy satellites to look for the plane. But the search area is about the size of the continental United States. What the French government is trying to get is any information which could have been gathered by a uh, satellite system of U.S. if anything can help. Air France says it cannot at this point establish a direct link between the severe weather and the disappearance of the plane, but that is what everyone here is wondering. It's the first time that the strike, the, 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 the strike will destroy an aircraft. It's, we, can't, we can't believe that. We can't believe that. Relatives of those on board are being cared for by Air France, who have brought in a team of psychologists to offer counseling. Family in Brazil were being helped there as well. Air France says that while the majority of those on board were French, there were 32 different nationalities represented, including two Americans. The great fear here is that with this plane disappearing in the mid-Atlantic, its flight data recorder boxes may now be on the bottom of the ocean, and the exact cause of this crash may never be known. Katie. Mark Phillips in Paris tonight. Thank you.